Asian Football Confederation first round qualifiers for the 2002-2022 FIFA World Cup. These games happened in June 2019 and it consisted of the 12 lowest ranked teams in the Asian region. Uh, these t uh, teams or countries consisted of Malaysia, Cambodia, Macau, Laos, Bhutan, Mongolia, Bangladesh, Guam, Brunei, Timor-Leste, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka. And um, from these 12 teams, they were separated into six and six, pot A and pot B, uh, where the highest, the six highest seeded teams would be drawn against a team from the lowest six ranked teams. Um, and the draw ended up being uh, Mongolia against Brunei, Macau against Sri Lanka, Laos against Bangladesh, Malaysia versus Timor-Leste, uh, Cambodia versus Pakistan, and Bhutan versus Guam. Um, the first round consisted of uh, two games, the first leg and the second leg, where the team with the better aggregate would be the team to advance to the next round. If you wanna see all the goals uh, as I'm only going to be talking about final scores, names. Uh, if you want to see the actual goals, you can look them up on YouTube, on Google, and I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find them. I looked at all the games and some of the goals were pretty, like, really good. <laughs> um, free kicks, uh, penalties blocked, like, these games had action. Uh, and it's, it's really amazing that teams that we consider like really low could still give such performances so if you want to see the whole entire highlights i encourage you to go look through it on the internet i'm pretty sure uh it can give you a, a heck of a lot more justice than i can quick recap about the first leg all games were played on june 6th except for malaysia versus timor leste which was played on june 7th uh this was because malaysia suge uh, suggested um uh, requested to have the day pushed back one day because of a celebration. Um, I can't pronounce it for the life of me. I'm not going to try to like butcher it, but I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Actually, I'm going to butcher it. Let's go. <laughs> um, Eid al Fitri. Exactly. I don't know. <laughs> if you want to learn more about that celebration, uh, it's pronounced. E I D space A L uh, dash F I T R. Uh, you can look it up on the internet and you can know more about that, as I'm pretty sure uh, I don't have that much. <laughs> as well as all second leg games were played on June 11th, except for Sri Lanka versus Macau. Uh, the game ended up not taking place. Uh, because Macau didn't want to send their teams over to Sri Lanka because of the 2019 Sri Lanka Eastern bombings. And if you want to learn more about that, you can look it up on the internet and you can educate yourself better than I can on this short video. Um, on that game, you know, because it was gonna take June 11th, days passed and because Macau um, wouldn't send their players, the game ended up being forfeited and Sri Lanka was awarded a 3-0 uh, win for that match. Um, every other game went ahead as scheduled and so here we go. The first leg uh, for Mongolia versus Brunei uh, went on to Mongolia with a final score of 2-0. The goals were scored by Sendebal and Natabold. Uh, not on bold, minute nine and minute 69, respectively. The first leg for Macau versus Sri Lanka went to Macau, actually, 
Uh, they won 1-0 with a goal scored by Duarte in the minute 52. Um, however, because of, as I've mentioned before, the second game didn't go ahead as scheduled, uh, which gave a 3-0 win to Sri Lanka. Uh, so I can confirm just right here that um, Sri Lanka then went ahead to advance to the next round with a aggregate of 3-1 in Sri Lanka's favor. Laos versus Bangladesh was a much more um, close uh, matchup. In the first leg, Laos actually ended up losing at home against Bangladesh. Uh, the goal scored by Hassan in minute 72. The June 7th game of Malaysia versus Timor Leste uh, was basically uh, a, wow, a, a pummeling. Uh, Malaysia beat Timor Leste 7 to 1 at home. Uh, goal scored for Malaysia by Corbing Ong, uh, Sharel, Norsharul, Safawi scored two goals, Faiz and Akhyar scored goals, minute 12, 23, 43. 54 and 59, the both two, those two minutes for Safawi, and then 78 and 89, respectively, for Malaysia. While for Timor Leste, the goal was scored by Jao Pedro in the minute um, 52. Cambodia versus Pakistan um, was the first leg. Cambodia ended up winning the first match 2 to 0, with goal scored by Chanta Chanthea in minute 81, and Sokum. Sokum Fik in minute 84. Uh, really close game. Two goals came at the end and Cambodia took the lead. Bhutan actually did a little bit of a shock in the first leg as at home they beat Guam 1-0 uh, with the lone goal scored by Dorji in the minute 35. Now the second leg, uh, Brunei actually won two to one. Uh, the goals were, for Brunei was scored uh, by Rasimi, uh, minute five and minute 34. Whereas for Mongolia, the goal was scored by uh, Tsendabal. Hey buddy. Um, it was minute 43 via a penalty. And so with both games having been played, Mongolia ended up winning the, the bout uh, with an aggregate of 3-2 to two and went on to the second round. The second match, uh, Bangladesh against Laos, ended up in the 0-0, but because in the first game Bangladesh won 1-0, Bangladesh would end up winning on aggregate 1-0 and qualify to the second round. The second game wasn't any easier for Timor Leste as they lost uh, at home 1-5 um, to five against Malaysia. The lone goal for Timor Leste uh, was Gama, minute 72, while for Malaysia, the goals were scored by Charel, uh, Charel who scored uh, a hat-trick, minute 11, 17, and 64, Sumare, minute 37, and Akiar, minute 55. And with a combined aggregate of 12 to 2, Malaysia qualified to the second round. For Pakistan and Cambodia, Pakistan scored a goal in minute 17 via a penalty scored by Bashir. Uh, however, Cambodia then came from behind and scored two goals. A uh, goal scored by Rosib and Bunhain, minute 64 and 89 uh, respectively. So with a combined aggregate of 4-1, to one, Cambodia qualified to the next round. Finally, the last match came between Guam and Bhutan, or Bhutan, and uh, Guam basically said that that they, again, another pummeling, five to zero in favor of Guam. Goal scored by uh, Lagutang, minute 23, Cunliffe, 27, 82, and 94 for a hat trick, while Malcolm scored on the minute 51. And with a aggregate score of five to one, Guam, qualified to the next round. So to recap, the teams that qualified were Mongolia, Malaysia, and Cambodia, and Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Guam, while Macau, Laos, Bhutan, Brunei, Timor-Leste, and Pakistan all uh, were eliminated on this round. 
There were 32 goals scored in the 11 matches, and the goal scorer for this round was from Malaysia, Sharel Fikri. Well, that was the first round of the AFC uh, qualifiers. Um, it's interesting to see now that we are getting uh, practically ready uh, to see all the teams that are qualified. Uh, it's going to be interesting uh, for now that they're in the final round for Asia. Um, the second round, I will be talking about it as well, and you know, continue to watch uh, football. You know, one of the things about soccer is it's 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 a good sport to watch. Uh, I've enjoyed it for so many years now. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, you, soccer is what soccer does. So, yeah. Have a good day.